Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Lockwood 300. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Today's like goal is going to be 25 likes. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Over on the stock, I'm going to be using the Cronin Marshall stock for the recoil control and aiming stability. The cons are aimed on side speed, crouch movement speed, aim walking speed, and sprint to fire speed. Over on the tuning, I went with negative... 2.84 ounces for aim down sight speed and negative 1.78 inches for aim walking speed over on the guard i'm using a demo carbon guard for sprint speed and hip walking speed the cons are flinch resistance and recoil steadiness the tuning i went with is 0.15 pounds for aim walking steadiness and negative 0.15 inches for sprint to fire speed over on the underbarrel, I'm using the Commando Forker for aiming auto stability and recoil stabilization. The cons are aimed on sight speed. The tuning I went with is 0.54 ounces for recoil stabilization. And you could probably just do this either way. It really just depends on you. And 0.21 inches for aiming auto stability. <clears throat> Over on the muzzle, I'm using the Bryson series 11 or 12 choke i can't remember which that is for tighter pellet spread and the cons are recoil steadiness and aimed on sight speed negative 0.08 inches for sprint to fire speed and negative 0.20 inches for aimed on sight speed and over on the optic which this was kind of like trolly i went with the slimline pro you don't have to use this but if you do the optic tuning is negative 2.13 ounces or aim down sight speed and all the way over on the eye position for close. If you guys end up trying this class setup out and you like it, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you have a better class setup than this, please let me know what that is down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay I ended up dropping at MGB. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, we're going to be checking out the Lockwood 300. That's a nice little long shot. How this is going, I don't know how well this is gonna go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm like one bullet. Oh my god. How did I get away? No! Please. I'm scared. Please don't chase me. I need an M4 just in case. I really want this here. I'd rather have this though, to be honest. I'm really, really scared. God, bro. That's a 20. I can't choke this. There's no way. 
I've shot like three nukes. The only problem with this gun, I have to reload like every every time. I don't want to jump up there. Too scared. I could have died. Oh my god. I need a UAV. I'm too scared to like run at them. Wait, I need this. Yeah. I feel comfortable now. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Hello? Okay. This guy's mic is super loud. Oh my. I could have died to that. I would have been so mad. I would have got off for the rest of the day. I need like one more kill. That's it. Oh God my. Let's go. And I had to die eventually, right? How many kills did I get with attack? Probably like two or three, maybe four. Thank God I'm recording because. Are laying on the ground. So I just got this camo and it's sick. I wonder what it's gonna look like on like the vase or whatever. Dang, I just got shotgunned by an SMG. I did not mean to call it in. Well, that's going to end it early. It's fun. It had the UAV first and then the MGB. Like, why didn't it let me use? Whatever. Fifty-two kills, GGs.